What's up guys? I'm going to be making a, re a very real video for you today. I'm going to be talking about what it's like when you give up drinking alcohol, smoking weed, and doing drugs. Be very real with you guys. Once you give up doing that stuff, it's not any good. All of a sudden you just start going through like Originally, you'll go through the withdrawals. All right, when you quit smoking weed, you quit drinking alcohol, whatever type, other type of drugs, you have the initial withdrawals. But people forget to tell you the everlasting effects. And I'm not saying these are going to affect you for your whole life, but months, years, you will be dealing with the effects. You will be feeling antisocial. You will be laying in your room feeling not right, putting some music on and just laying there and just thinking, where did my life go? Reminiscing about the good times with the people you trusted. And you're just sitting here and you're just like, something is missing within your brain, within your body. It's like you just damaged yourself. Now you see all these people, innocent, smiling faces, all getting along, all social, and you just be sitting there like, I don't relate to them, I don't understand them, I wish I could be like them, but I'm just stuck. I'm just, I messed my life up. On the real, like, I didn't just used to drink, I didn't just used to smoke, I used to dr wake up and drink. I used to wake up and smoke, smoke all day, smoke multiple times an hour, smoke two, three blunts to the face. Well, sometimes it would be two to three with like other people, right? I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just trying to say that I used to really overdo it. And I, I never, I never really thought I would be here to the point where I quit smoking, I quit drinking, I quit all the drugs. And now it's like the resounding effects eating my life away, you know, because like doing those acts was almost a way of, in a way, it's like a slow form of suicide. When you drink, smoke, do drugs, it's like you don't even want to be there no more. You don't even want to be here no more. So you just start to like cope with it in a way that's killing yourself. And you don't ever realize that, all right, one day when I quit all this stuff, I do find a reason I want to live. I do get past all the things I was trying to cover up. You don't realize that now your chance is kind of like shattered. Now you don't have the same empathy as other people. Now you don't have the same morals as other people. You can fake it and, and you can be that good person for everyone around you. But then you still feel lacking within your own life. You sit there, you lay in your bed, and you just feel like you're missing something. You don't have the same feelings you used to have. You don't have the same emotion you used to have. You might just start crying. You might just start venting it. It's hard, man. It's really hard. But at the same time, I know I'll be okay. I know I'll be okay for everyone around me. Especially, especially the fact that I'm going sober, I'm doing the right thing. It does give you a good feeling of like, all right, you're proud, you're happy. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, it messes up your whole life. If I have one thing that I could tell the, the youth, the generation, just don't ever start doing any drugs, any alcohol, because they glorify it in the media, but it's not good. It's not even okay. Think about some of your family that you look up to that does this kind of stuff. It's probably potentially influenced your life, even maybe ruined your life. Do not, you do not want to be like that, those people in your family. You don't want to be like that, right? You either get addicted for life or when you quit and you come up out of that, now you're just different from everyone around you. Now you're like withdrawn. You don't have much to say. Just be stuck in your feelings or just stuck out of touch of your feelings. Just laying there, just missing something. 
just trying to even think straight and you can't. It gets hard, man. It gets really hard. It gets even harder seeing the people that haven't even like given it up. It, it gets really bad, you know. But it, you dig your own grave when you when you go into substances. There's a reason it's called a substance because it's not it's not of a substance that's already within us naturally. It's something that we're putting into our bodies that was never even meant to be there. So it's it's messing with the natural flow. And it ruins lives, man. It's ruined my life. It's ruined people that I know's life. It's ruined it's ruining people in my family's life. I mean, everything. It's ruining lives. And sometimes I look back to my old memories, my old self, and I don't even recognize who I am anymore. I don't even think my family recognizes me sometimes. You know, it gets real dark. It gets real sad. It gets real scary. And the worst part is you got to deal with it alone. You know, people... When, when you're dealing with these kind of problems, people don't stick by your side. A select few will stick by your side, but then you feel bad even bringing these kind of things up to them because you don't want to bring them down. You don't want to make them feel worse. You don't want to hurt their positivity that's going on. Oh, they got a good life. They got this going for them. You don't want to always be trying to hit them up talking about this is how I'm feeling right now. I'm not doing good. I'm not really vibing with life right now. I'm not really feeling the world right now. I'm not really feeling myself right now. That's number one. Like, I'll be wanting to call people up and just say, like, I'm not even feeling myself no more. Not I know, like, suicidal shit, but just, like, just not feeling myself no more. I don't, I don't feel like taking care of myself. I don't feel like growing, becoming a better person. Low-key just feel like laying there. But then it's the fear of, like, if I just lay there... I know one day I'll get evicted. One day I'll have to just, where am I going to be laying? In the snow? That's like the motivation for me. It's like, well, I don't want to get evicted. I got to make money. But then you, you go make money at a job and then there's people there. And then you get either attached to the people or you just like don't get along with the people. And if you get attached with the people, those people don't get attached to you. And then it's this whole problem of like, basically mess my entire brain up and now I'm over here with these people that are mostly normal and now I'm like I've never fit in anywhere I went but now I don't fit in even more and it just gets hard you know but it is a positive light things will look forward things will move forward but I'm only really opening up about this for like the kids or for like the people that are like Thinking, oh, drugs are cool. Alcohol is cool. Like, I'm here to tell you firsthand it's not cool at all. Not one bit. You know, it makes me if it makes me feel good to make this video because if I could prevent somebody from doing the mistakes that I made, that messed up my life, that made me see stuff I should never have seen, that affected people around me that I love in a negative way. At this point, that's the only thing that makes me feel good is putting something out there to prevent what I've done. Because once you make mistakes, you realize, you know, some mistakes are too late. So your only point of living is to potentially help somebody else. Not on like, no, I got to be a good person. I got to be the good guy. It's not about that at all. It's that I've been the bad guy my whole life. And I want to help somebody who's in my shoes. Because there's far too many people just like me. It doesn't matter how I look. It doesn't matter how I talk. It doesn't matter where I'm from. People just like me are going through these same things. And there's people that haven't started yet. That's who this video is for. All right. To tell you that there's only two routes when you do drugs or alcohol. Addictive for life. Or when you go sober. Now you're just ruined. Your whole body. Your whole mind. I be having chest pains every day. I get headaches every single day. It's not the life you want to choose. Just live your sober life. I don't care how many anxieties or depressions you have. You'll get over it. It's better to have that kind of stuff than to be sitting here to have withdrawals and having like some type of like chemical imbalance of like, 
I didn't I just don't feel right. I just can't think straight. I just feel hot flashes, cold flashes. It's better to have a slight anxieties. That means you're just that means you're normal. If you have feelings, that means you're normal. Oh, you felt sad. Maybe something made you sad. You don't want to start feeling sad when nothing went wrong. You just naturally feel sad now because all the fucking, excuse my language, but all the stuff you you did, just, oh, now you're naturally sad. Now you're naturally just uh, stressed out. I don't want to see this life for you guys. Man, I do not want to see it. I would not be making this video just for no reason. Why would I shed light on this for no reason? It's hard for me to even open up about this. I hope you take care of yourself. I hope you make the right choice. I hope you think of me when you're put in that predicament. And I hope you make the right choice.